everyone. Welcome back to the True Rock and Roll Podcast. I'm here with Sue Ann Carwell and King Edward, and we have a special one for you today. It is Jimi Hendrix doing Little Child's Slight Return. And this was recorded in Stockholm, Sweden in 1969, and it's one of my favorite performances of the experience. So let's get that started. Joanne, you want to put that video up now? to do a thing called All Along the Watchtower, but I forgot the words, so uh, we won't do that one. We never played that before in person anyway. We only recorded it because we liked it. But um, I really am sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do, though. We'll play Little Child's Slight Return for you, okay? Can you hold the video for a second, Joanne? Are you, the shirt that he has on looks like the one you have on, King. I'm telling you, baby, that's why I got it on. His sister gave me this shirt in New York, a lick related land. Really? Yes, yeah, so I've been having this shirt well, on. You... I, I never wear this shirt. Well, it's beautiful, the colors. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I have the turquoise. But turquoise, you know what I forgot? All the turquoise that he would only wear. <laughs> See, I'm mad now because remember I had my 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 shirt on the last time with the boa and the fur and the boa, and yeah. I didn't get to put my Afro wig and my bandana on now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do another one and we'll let you do that, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, Joanne, we can start it back up again. For a group, a friend of ours called the Outsiders, it is, isn't it? Yeah, right. right. Oh, we have to play good for them. Yeah, right. Okay, so um, who was it, Little Child? Yeah, Little Child.
So, <laughs> you know, like, uh, have you noticed that they're tuning their amps? I always wondered how they sounded so big, you know, and it was only the three of them. Yeah, the reverb, once again, the reverb as well. He created the reverb mm -hmm. and the wah, -wah pedal. That's all Jimmy, baby. And the speaker mm -hmm. was so big, and the shoo, God, he used to blow them out. <laughs> yeah. He was made the, mm -hmm. made them amp, he made them amps ring. Yes, you exactly. know, he's tuning right. them and ringing it at the same time. And then, you know, then he's got the drummer just paradiddles and flams on top of everything just to make it, to fill it up. So it sounds mm -hmm. like it's just a lot of shit going right. on, you know? Right. You know, because you got to, you got to yeah. remember you have. You see, I'm you got sorry, go on. He, he is like listening to an orchestra. If you really oh, listen gosh. to all the music, you can hear all kinds, you can hear horns. You can hear mm -hmm. flutes, you can hear kunga, you can hear all kind of stuff if you really listen to Jimmy. That's why he blew people mm -hmm. away. He created, and his, and his last deal, he wanted to, to get an orchestra and play behind him. Mm. That, was, that was his dream, and mm -hmm. he never did get a chance to do that, unfortunately. Yeah, he went through several transformations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in his short life, because... He was only 27 when he died, right? 27, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, and... Okay, gentlemen, let's go back. Plus, I mean, but plus, you okay, know... Okay, a minute. Went, what did you want to say? Plus, you know, it just shocked all of them, the, the so-called, you know, kings that were before him. You know, when he came, we're talking about Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page and... All of them cats, you know, they heard, you know, he was unseated. Yeah. He unseated all of them. You know yeah. what I mean? He yeah. came out, they was like, what the, what, what is that? Well, see, little, little Richard, what little Richard, that? little he played with little Richard. Little Richard had to let him go because he, 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 take, he took over the whole show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not <laughs> man, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He did come from the Chitlin circuit, didn't he? Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Played with, with Ronald Isley. Isley you he played know? with the Isaac Brothers, you know. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy yeah. played with a lot, a lot of people, baby. Yep. Wow, yeah. yeah, he really did. I and liked, he, um, you know, the movie that uh, Mick Jagger actually did about James Brown, you know. Yeah, you know, and they were talking about Jimmy in the film, and they were like, "Man, he's going places you could never imagine." That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. No, they knew it. They knew he was a star even back then. Wow. So, okay, Joanne, let's finish watching.
for a minute? Mm. I think we were talking about this before. This is almost like jazz improvisation. Yeah. Could you hear yeah. could you hear all the other instruments behind it? Could you Yeah. Hear, yeah. Hear, yeah, yeah. Uh, exa- exactly. And Miss Mitchell is playing the drums like it's something else. Yeah, like it's a like it's like it's almost kind of like uh uh uh, uh beat marching drums behind it. You know, it's that's just right, mm-hmm. right, that's right, baby. Right, right. right. I, I heard that too. That's right, baby. Yeah. That's right. It's like anybody to me that's closest to his guitar playing to me, he's rest in peace, is a cat named Eddie Hazel. Was one yeah. of them. I love Eddie. Reminded. Yeah, I love Eddie. Yes. I hate Reminded him. me. I love Eddie Hayes. Yeah. He passed away. I hate that. You know, he was, he was, uh, a, he was a good he brother, was, too. Oh, man. I mean, he was this one cat that just sounded to me. He was just close to Jimmy to me than anybody, Jimmy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a great guitarist. Well, oh. Steve, okay, Joe, man. Did you Steve, want to say something? Yes, yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. I had the pleasure to be on the same show that he used to do here in Dallas at the mm-hmm. Fall Club. And he he didn't play like Jimmy, but he, he was trying to learn. This was back in the 60s, like 68, 60 you know. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to just try to figure, figure it out because then he he, he playing blues. And yeah. Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan, he, he finally captured the way Jimmy played, but nobody really could really play like Jimmy. You got to get to understand that. <laughs> yeah, period. But he, he did come up with his own sort of style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, you know, trying to emulate him. Yeah. Another great um, guitar player. We're mm-hmm. definitely going to do something on Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes. Okay, Joanne, yeah. let's go back and finish the video.
see, people don't realize wow. uh, people had to stand back from from hear him because they, uh, he invented the earplugs. <laughs> really? Oh. Yes, but, hey, baby, it's, it'd be so loud. I was just going to say, you know, sitting there in front of those amps, I wonder how their hearing is. Exactly. And a lot of people lost their their hearing going to these concerts. And that's why you have to have earplugs because Mm -hmm. it was unbelievable on on the eardrums. (laughs) Well, a lot of musicians and guitar players lost their, you know, their hearing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. baby. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we used to always say, you know... uh, the louder you get, the what was that old saying we used to say? Uh, the more you drink, the better we sound. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, used so funny. we used to be band in, we used to be in that band Enterprise, and everybody in that band be having Heinekens and beer on the amps and everything, and 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 we'd be. The, the engineer would be trying to turn the band down, and the guitar player he'd be turning up by the by the end of the by the end of the set. If we'd be yeah. on like the fourth by the third set, yeah. that whole guitar be up to like twenty, and I'd be and right. I'd turn back and be like screaming. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And by that time, well, you know, the whole band is drunk. <laughs> but here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Then we had a we had a guy who used to run the band, right? Right. Uh-huh. We, used, we used to play in this club called the Nakarima in Minnesota. The do we me Morris Day and Jesse, we would make thirty five dollars a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we used to make thirty five dollars. That's what we used to 35. make thirty five. That's right. We used to but make guess what the Guess what the owner got? Guess what the guy who ran the band would say? Well, you know, there was some hidden expenses. Hidden expenses? Yeah, yeah. For $35? Crap. How hidden can they be? <laughs> Dude, we're only playing at the Knack Arena. This, yeah. this only holds like 70 people in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-five dollars a weekend. I remember well, that. Know, well, you know, y'all drank, y'all drank up yeah, shit. Yeah. Five thousand dollars of it. Yeah. You made five grand. <laughs> five grand, and there's hidden expenses, and we only got thirty-five dollars. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> so, but that was that was always the chitlin circuit, you know. That's, that's so, right, baby. That's right. That's but we didn't. Getting. But you know, we didn't think about money. We just wanted to play. It was for exactly. the love of music. Exactly. We didn't even care about the money. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. it was probably more like for Jimmy and them back in the day. It's like they just wanted to play, you know. I know. Because I'm sure he had his broke moments, you know. I don't anyway, know how- thanks again, guys. Thank you. Another episode of the True Rock and Roll Podcast. We went a little bit over because that was a really long uh, video, but I think it was worth it. Yes. Definitely. Always, it. always worth it. And I, I hope people uh-huh. would love it as much as I love it every time. Right. To see it over yes. and over again. Well, I'm loving that shirt. And it looks like the shirt he has on. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know. You look great. Right. Um, that's it for today. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us with comments. Let us know what you think about what we're doing. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget next to subscribe. Time. Bye. Ciao, baby. Ciao.